welcome back in today's video i am going to show you a restaurant dashboard or restaurant management system which is created by the google app script or google sheet the google sheet act as a database here so as of now you can able to see in this restaurant management system what is this restaurant management system i will explain you all the things in step by step so we have the four roles the admin role the waiter role which collect the orders and the kitchen uh, the chef prepare the food and the cleaner who clean the tables okay so how this will work i will explain you so first of all you can see here i just log out here and refresh my web application so uh, for, uh you can see here this is a username and it belongs to admin okay so i just copy this okay and uh, come here and paste it here okay so it's a admin panel so i am going to log in as a admin so as of now you can able to see this is a admin panel okay or uh, you can see here in admin panel we can assign the tables for we can assign the tables to the waiter okay we can check out the reports orders by waiters uh means of a waiter how much uh, for example this is a waiter and this waiter how much orders conducted or how much order received by this or waiter okay so as of now you can see here manage menu you can add the menu here okay understand now we go to here and just copy our username and password here and login here for a waiter so i just copy here and paste it here and click on this login so as of now you can able to see this is the waiter panel so i uh, i will uh, log in all the uh, roles then we will work out check out this how it will work so this is a kitchen so i come here and uh, enter here to and click on this login and when i click on this login as of now this you can see here, this is a kitchen panel and uh, you can see here when i click on uh, here and uh, click on this login so this is our cleaner panel means the cleaner staff who cleans the table okay so first of all this is a admin panel uh, forget this for now for example a customer comes to our restaurant okay a customer comes to our restaurant and a waiter uh, come to the customer's table and for example the t1 is already occupied okay by some customer by this order id okay now the customer come and sit on the t2 okay now the waiter click on this new order when he click on this new order as of now you can able to see the create new order section okay so it will on the table two okay so in that uh, orders time if a customer want to switch their table from table two to table three the waiter can select here from the drop down as well okay now the waiters uh, waiters active order they can able to see here uh, for example uh, the customer comes here and it will uh, order a drink the cock okay and click on this add item now uh, the customer us uh, uh, ask us for the main which is the chicken biryani and quantity is two and click on this add item so when it add item now it's order completed and click on this create order so when he click on this create order the order id is created and as of now you can able to see this is a table two and this is a order id and status is pending why this pending now let's move to the let's move to the kitchen panel okay we just refresh our web application when we refresh our web application as of now you can able to see this is the order id for the table two and this waiter okay now we just click on this preparation that your biryani is going to be prepared so it will load that and mark the status preparing okay so when both are the ready we just click on this uh, mark ready so as of now you can able to see uh, in the order one we have mar we have clicked the mark preparing it's not prepared yet but uh, in order to which we conduct right now we have done is that it's ready you can deliver it okay for example a customer asked to the waiter that when my orders will come is it ready or not okay so it will go to your table too and as of now you can able to see ready for the handover now waiter can able to see waiter can see 
from the kitchen the order is ready now i want to just pick up and hand over to the customer okay if the waiter want to see the details of the order the waiter just click on this details and he can able to see the order id and the total invoice okay so it will click on this mark served when the waiter click on this marked served so as of now you can able to see the order is going to be served okay okay now after the eating after the eating uh, the customer ask for the bill so customer just click on this bill order id as of now you can able to see the order id for the table 2 is automatically comes here or we can manually paste here how we can manually paste here we just go here copy id okay we just copy the id and go to our billing section and paste it here and click on this load section so when we click on this load section that particular order will be shown below okay so this is the table 2 now we click on this generate bill so when we click on this generate bill as of now you can able to see the tax 18 percent is successfully added now the table marked dirty okay as of now you can see when i go to the table so the table 2 status is dirty it's not available for the next customer because a customer come here and eating the food and it's dirty right now we need to clean it okay so for this person we need to go to our we need to go to our cleaner panel so as of now in the drop down you can able to see the table 2 which is available for the dirty okay now the cleaner clean the table and click on this mark clean so when he click on this mark clean we go to our waiter section and refresh our data so when we refresh our data as of now you can able to see the t2 table is again ready for new customer okay now go to our order section now it's prepared go to our restaurant section and click on this mark ready so when we click on this mark ready as of now you can able to see the status of this order is selected for the uh, ready for the delivered or ready for the handover okay now we just click on this marked sub so when we click on this marked sub now order is served successfully now we need to click on this bill now we need to click on this generate bill and we, when we click on this generate bill as of now you can able to see the table marked dirty in the meantime when we go to our admin panel admin can able to see the total orders the items ordered the revenue in my the revenue in my restaurant is this and assigned tables is this now we have only three tables in our database we have only one waiter okay when we go to here and i just copy this line and just paste it here and i give him the uh, waiter id 4 okay now i just give him the t2 okay now i just give him i just leave it okay i just leave it blank and go to my admin panel and refresh my database so when i refresh my database as of now you can able to see the waiter we have only two waiters so we select the waiter and we allowed a table assigned table okay when we click on this assigned table so that particular table is assigned to our waiter okay now what's happened okay now what's happened we just copy this url and uh, go to, uh, paste it here and uh, we just log in with our new waiter we just enter our username or password this is uh, that one okay and click on this login so when i click on this login as of now you can able to see this is a waiter panel this waiter can only be handled that particular table not all the tables for example this feature we have added for example in a restaurant have the 80 tables so 10 tables assigned to one better and 10 tables assigned to other table so that's why we have added this particular feature now this table is dirty we go here and uh, refresh our database when we refresh our database as of now you can able to see we click on this mark clean so when we click on this mark clean and refresh our data so table one is again available for the order purposes so this is our restaurant management system hope you like this video please subscribe and hit the bell icon